Hola a todos, me llamo Datai y esta lengua es muy loca. So yeah, we're not actually doing stuff in Celadon today, unfortunately, because it's a nice, uh, unfor it's, it's a nice town. But we're heading off to Saffron, because there's actually stuff to do there. I mean, we could go surfing, but uh, I'm in the mood to kick some ass. And as such, I will be heading into the fighting gym, which I have a type advantage against, and is really not that challenging, even if you're weak to him, honestly. They're, they're very, very easy. So the background to this place is that they were originally the gym here in Saffron City, but then Sabrina came in and wrecked up the place, basically, with her psychic types. Incredibly broken, imbalanced, super effective psychic types. Uh, kicked their asses to the bin and took over the resident spot as awesome gym leader of Saffron. Uh, so, since they suck so much nowadays compared to Sabrina, they got their rights as a, an official gym revoked, so they can't give out badges. So instead, they give out uh, other prizes for beating them. Uh, specifically, either Hitmonchan or Hitmonlee, depending on what you pick. I won't be picking either of them, I'm just coming in for the ass-kicking, honestly. So, it, it's very reminiscent or pre-reminiscent, or... Chuck's gym is very reminiscent of this gym, I must say. Just very linear, straight-up uh, fighting dudes with a bunch of primate talking about breaking boulders. Overall, not that big of a challenge. Uh, people taking shoes very seriously. It's 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 a similar kind of motif feel, you know. Of course, it's kind of completely different because Sidewoods it was a completely separated island, and this is kind of the biggest technological metropolis in all of Kanto. But, yeah, and that takes care of that. Now we get to face the uh, gym leader, or used to be gym leader. I'm not a grunt. I kick grunts for breakfast. I eat with my feet. Uh, yeah, this guy, he doesn't even get a custom sprite, which I think is very unfortunate, because he's pretty badass. He has both Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan, and, uh, well, actually, they kind of are fairly easy. Alright, let's see if I can still outspeed it. I will never know, unfortunately, damn. But yeah, this is kind of a really easy... Gym, but I don't know. I think it's a nice distraction from the whole gym badges thing. It's a gym with a prize other than badges. So I can't take either of these guys, unfortunately, because my team is full. But uh, I'll show them off. Piston, they refer to guns. I really wish they could pull that off nowadays. And you'll see that the actual gym is guarded by. This guy. Stop looking at me. Yeah, that's what they want. And, um... Just basically, most of the important places are taken, except for this place. Which is, uh... The Sylph Corporation. It's... There's... It's basically where Team Rocket is doing their final scheme. And, uh... It's, well, I don't really want to deal with it at this point, because I have less important, but slightly more bizarre things to do. Get out of my way. See, so yeah, I don't really feel like doing the Sylph Corporation. I feel like doing something all less uh, metropolis dastical technological. Running around with teleporters. I am not good with teleporters, people. So instead, I'm going to get attacked by these guys, and uh, then I'm going to try surfing uh, down to Seafoam, and next episode will probably be Seafoam. I don't know why I used double kick on that. Seafoam Islands, uh, I'll explain when we get there, but I don't know, I'm in the mood for running around with my head cut off, not knowing what the hell to do, in a slightly more unique setting than just a technological building. So yeah, I never fought these people. And it's kind of too late to get any decent experience from them, unfortunately. And I'm just using the wrong moves out the wazoo, jeez. 
Keep in mind that double kick is not super effective because there's no steel type in the first generation. And now I definitely want to use Bud Slam. There we go. Spark plug. That takes care of that. Let's let's see if we can check out binoculars. They don't cost any money, thank God. I hate how the swamp does that. The Great Marsh or whatever, yeah. I hate how it charges you money. I mean, it, it costs five cents, but it's it's the concept. And I immediately want to liken it to the downloadable content for Rock Band uh, 9. And why the hell did I call it Rock Band? I have no idea. But honestly, that's kind of justified, to be honest. Honestly, they're both justified, but in a game sense... Uh, wait, they're both game... I have no idea what I'm trying to say. Oh, and yeah, I never fought these guys either. Um, I, I just remember people were complaining about how you have to pay for downloadable content on Mega Man 9. It's like, dude, it, the base game is 10 bucks, and back in the day they were like 30 bucks. You're getting a much better deal. And I still haven't played Mega Man 9, honestly. I... Um, I want to beat the first, uh, I guess, nine main installments of the series before I go into Mega Man 9. I'd like to beat Mega Man 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and uh, Mega Man and Bass, base, 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 um, before I do it. Mostly to train me, because it's apparently one of the hardest on your first playthrough. And also because I... I, I'm one of those guys who needs to play the whole thing through in order. And that's why I also feel kind of awkward not being able to beat the original Legend of Zelda for the NES. It's it, Seriously, I, I can find the first dungeon and stumble my way through, dying about five times. And um, then eventually I'll find the, the lady on uh, the... the Eastmost Peninsula secret thing, and find the old lady, and then go to the White Sword, and he's like, "No, you can't have it yet." And I'm like, "Oh, screw this." So, right, these guys, um, there's stuff happening, and it doesn't matter. See, so yeah, I skipped over these guys the first time because I was uh, afraid of running out of time. I think I ended up uh, double speeding that segment anyway, so it doesn't matter much. Um, and I was also running low on PP if I remember right. So these guys are assholes, basically. And yeah, I'm running low on PP again. Now you see why I go on tangents talking about Mega Man. All you're seeing is coughing and grimer. And, seriously. I'm thinking more and more of doing a weekly kind of monologue, uh, talky video thing. Just me talking about whatever the hell for 11 minutes straight uh, every week. At least weeks when I don't have a Wi-Fi battle or something. So, how would people feel about that? Just it's, It would be informal, blah, 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 blah. And it also might help me keep on topic for uh, these videos here. No promises. So yeah, if you have a strong feeling one way or another, uh, go ahead and say so. I mean, it's not like you'll have much comment on, on the actual video. Nothing really happens in this episode. Oh, you jerk. But at least now I can utilize the Poke Flute. You'll never, ever need an awakening. And it is so awesome. So awesome. The first times a couple play, uh, first couple times I played through this, I didn't really realize you could use it in battle. So naturally, I didn't really. I I kind of wish they had equivalents in the second and fourth generation. I know the Hoenn. There's some sort of equivalent, like if you can get from the soot sack. But that's really annoying to to build up, honestly. You have to grind on spid, spin does. Or, unless you're looking for a Skarmory or something, it's, re it's really not worth it. It, it. You'll just get bored out of your mind, honestly. 
And uh, heading into the last minute, this should be pretty much everything. I think there might be a couple more trainers. Ah, uh, but I'll skip over them. They're not that important. Well, for the last couple meters... Oh, there wasn't any more. Okay. So, I suppose next segment we'll be heading down to the south, surfing to sea foam, uh, silly shenanigans, uh, Salamander Seuss. Uh, Sustancivos Saliva. I am um, no. I to... Shut up. So, yeah, vote on whether or not you'd like to have some sort of tangent video every week. Uh, I'd, I'd probably have to come up with some sort of theme, but whatever. Um, tell you what you think.